And when people are struggling, it can be hard to find someone who can relate. But there's one type of support service designed not only to do that, but also help both people get better together. Reporter Alexa Ray gives us an inside look at peer support. People who help those struggling with mental illness are concerned about new regulations which could change the way peer support works. They say plans to make peer support a more formal and clinical experience would make the experience less effective. It has destroyed me. Like when you're that close to almost dying, you just never forget it. When I was in my mess, nobody was there for me. It was just, oh, another doctor, another pill, oh, you're crazy. It interrupted everything. Jacob Hausman, Carmela Barlow, and Susie K. Williams have one thing in common. At one point in their life, they found themselves needing support from someone who understood what they were going through, known as peer support. We're someone that's in recovery ourselves from substance abuse or mental health, and we can share our story of recovery to kind of inspire hope in those people. Peer support can be provided in many different ways, mainly in person, or over the phone. Some people don't have no support. In Safe Harbor, we are their only support that they have. Safe Harbor is a section of Community Alliance. Let me try to understand what you're saying. It provides a warm line where people experiencing a crisis can call or stop by 24-7. Basically, what we're trying to do is help them move towards a self-directed recovery path. Those involved in peer support say it's beneficial because it isn't treated as a clinical experience, with barriers that signify one person is in better condition than the other. Peers have expressed to me that they don't wish to be identified as staff because that creates a barrier between uh, two people trying to get well together. Peer support used to be two people getting better together. Now, depending on if you pay for it with either federal or state funds, your support services will look very different. The two are outlined differently, but some would argue that peer support shouldn't be followed based on guidelines, but with personal connections and necessary support. Unfortunately, in the mental health field, a lot of our services have been disappearing, and we really need services to come back. It's so important to share my experience because it's healing to myself too. And that it, while it inspires hope in someone else, it inspires hope in me too. To find out more about peer support, head to our website, 3newsnow.com. In studio, Alexa Ray, 3 News Now, this morning.